Hi gorgeous one, it's Adele from Get Gorgeous. I want to talk to you about your emotions. Are you highly emotional or do you suppress your emotions? Do you believe that those emotions can stay in your body and actually cause you disharm? They can hurt you, they can create physical weights in your body. Things like anger, frustration, hurt and pain can create a physical issue in your body. Louise Hay is absolutely convinced that all disease is caused by exactly that, dis-ease. The fact that you have unsuppressed emotions. I've taken on my first chap as a client this week. I'm so excited and I am convinced he is drawn towards me because I am more emotional. I deal with emotions. I don't just let it go. I actually get to grips with them and I investigate them. I find them curious. I believe that women are much better at concealing their frustration. And I get it, why wouldn't you? I've got a house full at the moment, two generations, three generations. So I've got my parents looking, um, looking for support at one end of the scale and I've also got my kids and my son leaving home at the other end of the scale. So it's much better if I keep quiet, keep calm and carry on as we all should. But dealing with your frustrations is also important. It's the way that you help yourself to heal. It is called metaphysical causation. If you are not dealing with your emotion, then it internalizes and causes stresses in your body. Sometimes it's obvious, like hunched shoulders. When I teach Pilates and I know that people are stressed, I'll see it in their shoulders. It has a physical response in your body. Stress, shoulders, it's obvious. Stiff neck, another one. We talk about stiff neck and that inflexibility. How does that affect your way of life? What else are you lacking flexibility in? What else are you not seeing both sides of the argument? Anger can boil up in your body. It can burn and it can affect your body. Resentment can eat away at your self-esteem and your body. And guilt is always going to be looking for punishment because you feel guilty and that translates into your body. I love doing little releasing ceremonies with my clients. I absolutely adore it. So finding the cause of this resentment or guilt or anger and having a little releasing ceremony. One client I had, let's call her Fiona. <laughs> All my clients are called Fiona. She lives by the sea, lucky Fiona, and she builds up all these little pebbles and she has this intention that she's going to release the pebble and she's going to release that ceremony. So she's talking to herself along the beach, she's throwing stones in the sea. Something simple that releases the frustration is superb.